On Monday, BGR reported that Apple was in the works in developing a blood glucose monitor that would basically be embedded into an Apple Watch band that would, be, that would work in conjunction with your Apple Watch. So this is impressive for several reasons. Number one, the direct effects, uh, and then some more effects that are, that are more broad and, and possibly more interesting for a uh, majority of the population. So what would be really great uh, with this blood glucose monitor is basically that it solves a problem that many people in the United States and across the world have, which is monitoring their blood sugar levels, uh, particularly with respect to people with diabetes. So currently, you basically have to do a semi-invasive blood test um, to track your blood glucose levels. Apparently, Apple has been able to figure out a way to do this in, well, without an invasive procedure uh, and allegedly has been able to embed it right into an Apple Watch band. So theoretically, um, someone with diabetes could just have an Apple Watch with this particular bracelet accessory and be able to keep track of their blood glucose levels all day. And what's really nice about it is, in, in my mind, I would imagine that this is something that continues to update throughout the day. So instead of having to prick your finger and check your blood at multiple intervals, you can constantly have a measure. I think that's really interesting uh, and going to be a really great feature for people who have diabetes. I think it's also very interesting for people who just want to be more health conscious and see what happens to their blood glucose levels after a meal to try to see, you know, maybe they don't want to eat something that has such a glycemic load, uh, for example. Or it's just interesting data that uh, I think people can use to kind of better their lives. So I think from a very specific perspective, the blood glucose monitor is both incredibly useful for people with diabetes for blood glucose level monitoring uh, and also could be interesting for people who just have health interests in general. But more broadly, uh, this has to do with Apple wanting to release smart watch bracelets. So this could come in the form of many different things besides just a blood glucose monitor. So for example, um, if you wanted to do a lot more athletic monitoring and have more data, uh, maybe the bracelet can m measure other things like your, I don't know, blood oxygen level. Uh, maybe it can has more uh, sensors in there. So if you're trying to analyze your golf swing, it'll do a lot better than just the accelerometer in the Apple Watch. Um, maybe you want to have a camera on there for some reason. I read about that. Uh, not super interesting to me. But maybe you, uh, another potential possibility would be a battery, uh, you know, extender. So your Apple Watch will get you maybe in future generations, you know, a full day worth of use, maybe two days worth of use. Uh, the bracelet can give you another two days. Uh, so now you can really use it for something like sleep monitoring and sleep tracking, which is incredibly appealing and very interesting, particularly because Apple recently acquired a health tracking uh, or a sleep tracking uh, company. So having the watch, uh, you know, last multiple days and be able to go through your sleep uh, with that battery extender option is very, very interesting. And I think what's just really cool is just the potential for these Apple smart watches or Apple smart bracelets for the Apple watch because it can be customized to whatever you need it to be. So if you're someone who's semi-professional about golfing or tennis, extra sensors can give you more data which can help you get better. Extended battery can be useful for a whole lot of things. Um, Basically, I'm really excited about obviously the blood glucose monitoring is something that's very interesting, uh, but just the more broad impact of being able to have basically extended functionality in the bracelets, which is also cool because you can then add functionality to a product you already have instead of waiting for the year to possibly two year upgrade cycle that the watches may have in the future. Being able to just add a bracelet for what you need, very, very appealing. So in terms of timing, when can we expect to see this? The report says an upcoming Apple Watch. So it's kind of unclear at this point whether that means launching with the Apple Watch Series 3 that we've previously talked about that'll be coming out later this year. Uh, it could come out after that. It could coincide with a Series 4. But what it seems to indicate to me is that Apple is on the cusp of having blood glucose monitoring and possibly other smart watch bracelets uh, available or smart bracelets uh, available in the immediate future. So within the next year to year and a half is when I would expect to start seeing a whole slew of extendability options and expandability options um, with Apple Watch bracelets. So that's just a quick look at uh, Apple's new upcoming Apple smart bracelets for Apple Watch. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in getting more tech content, particularly updates on Apple Watch, smart bracelets, or anything in the, in the middle, make sure you click subscribe onto my YouTube channel so the videos come right to your YouTube homepage. Thanks for watching.